dear Aries, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of September with me, Kuna Cups Tarot. As an extended member to this channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's an all signs reading up, the right decision for my future, for the full members to this channel, and the reading message from a deceased loved one are available for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. And I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for August to get a context. And this is the prediction for September I'm using the Tarot Illuminati for the readings part and the Wizards Tarot for the clarifications. When I open your deck here, I see Justice together with the Prince of Cups. So it seems like we are a little bit um, judgmental of someone's uh, offer or someone's intentions. Uh, we don't, we have learned a lot, so we don't believe everything everyone says, okay? I call the Divine with love and light and here we have the queen of pentacles with the justice card so it seems like we still want what they are offering we just don't believe them uh, we just maybe it's too good to be true or maybe this person has fall they have like the situation has <laughs> they have felt the, the promises that they made has fallen through previously and um, uh, you are not trusting the situation and they have stolen you of your energy in the past and made you very disappointed it has been like an over and over again kind of thing this is an eight and um, whatever you wanted to happen um, maybe almost happened and then didn't happen or it happened and then it went away because of some issues here okay so six elements nine of cups together with the queen of pentacles maybe the person is a little bit self-oriented uh, that it's a lot about them and what they want you have a lot to offer and you give a lot in a relationship maybe they uh, expect a lot but don't, they don't give a lot uh, and uh, the only time they are like really showing you uh, like attention and and giving you what you want is when they are trying to uh, <laughs> to kind of fish for you or get you to uh, be with them or forgive them or uh, so it's only then when they pay attention to you and other otherwise they aren't paying any attention or at least not to the things that is important for you so okay just on there and I will tune in for a few seconds here to you, uh, the person most on your mind and your relationship in September. This is the new bottom of the deck and it's 901, so uh, tough defense. Um, as I say, <laughs> we, uh, you don't believe a word they say, but they are promising this, but uh, you probably don't believe them. I wanted to show you the empty eyes. It's like you can't fool that person. They're not even looking at you. Okay. And we have the Ace of Swords. So you have seen the truth. Like recently I've seen the truth. Or occasionally you see the truth. And then maybe you start to believe in the lie again because it's so sweet okay this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind situation with said person what's on their mind with you this is your feelings and this is uh, the bond between the two of you their feelings your behaviors and attitudes the outcome for september and their behaviors and attitudes so we start with the situation here and it's a seven of cups so we, it's what i said we can't believe a word they say one day it's like they're saying this the next day they are acting like this and sometimes action speaks louder than words so even if they tell you all those lovely things what they do is what matters it's what reveals them okay 
and um, this is on your mind and it's the eight of swords so probably you 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 want this so much that you are almost captivated by the situation uh, your hope is keeping you locked into this situation uh, when reality could set you free but would also make you uh, being forced to give up on your dream it's an eight and here we have an eight so on the other person's mind it's like now they seem to sincerely want to work on it or improve uh, themselves and you are trying to free yourself from the fantasy maybe you feel like they don't love you as much as they say they do or um, it can be that you don't trust uh, trust them in general if they say that they are going to do this maybe you think that that's probably not going to happen instead they are going to do that uh, but here they they want to be trustworthy they want you to be able to trust them they want to do better they want to improve um, they feel also like a little bit of a beginner and that you should give them a chance to be better at this okay uh, the bond between you two is problem solving in a relationship six is connected to the lovers card uh, so um, it's uh, I'm feeling your your person's energy here and they wish um, for this uh, relationship to be mended they want to take the relationship from the rough waters into like a safer shore and uh, this is your feelings princess of wands uh, princess of wands is a very strong card it shows that we are ready for any challenges but we are also ready to face uh, reality and and face the challenges alone if we have to so we are not depending on this other person and um, we can break free if necessary if our soul tells us to because the princess of wands also follows uh, um, like the mission from their soul okay and here we have the alchemist so on their feelings it's a little bit manipulative but it also shows this with their willingness to fix things which we see both in the eight of pentacles six of swords and the alchemist card that they want to solve this they want to figure it out they want to understand you and um, give you things to make you stay or to make you interested uh, in them again uh, it's something else here um it's still as if they are learning they haven't figured it out so they're trying to figure it out uh, and they want to have a chance uh, to figure it out i'm seeing their light though has kind of suffocated themselves <laughs> so maybe they are not as uh, you know aware of the situation as they hope they are there can be a lot of things that they uh, see with that you see with them that they don't see with themselves like you see a certain behavior and here it goes comes again and they are not uh, truly aware of that so they can't uh, really comprehend the full scale of the problems between the two of you and um, this is your behaviors and attitudes and it's a hero form so that's good in this situation it shows that you take your leadership you step into authority you know what to do and you can help this person you know get uh, um, their ducks in a row or understand what needs to be done their behaviors and attitudes it's a little bit whiny <laughs> like it's uh, like a person uh, becoming the martyr and saying whatever i do is never good enough for you no it isn't like <laughs> step up <laughs> be better and so i think this is a little bit manipulative we have the a magician here which is the trickster and manipulation can be one of their um, like manipulation through uh, look at me I'm such a victim or why are you doing me like this and like shaming you uh, making you feel bad or uh, giving them lenience can be one of their tricks okay but again I don't feel like they are fully aware of it it's just something that they do because it has given them benefits in the past so if um, we are like uh, <laughs> dogs easily trained if we see that uh, one behavior works we get you know uh, the candy we want um, then we are going to continue doing it 
and the outcome is the justice card that has been kind of significant for this whole reading so it says that we need to pay attention be aware not letting our light dim but actually staying uh, focused and uh, being able to sort um, like um, a, a bad behavior or a bad uh, you know road from a better one and make better choices and also speak and communicate very clearly about what's expected uh, so it seems like it can be a good idea to um, have a little bit tough love in this situation towards this person clarifying the seven of cups with the wizard's tarot and we have the temperance card so it's about um it's about integrating our shadow uh, this is the card i usually call the alchemist and here it's the alchemist in this uh, deck um, because the temperance card is the one that uh, tries to take the shadow and the light and combine them and to expand one's own awareness uh, by learning more this 14 1 plus 4 equals 5 which is the human library of knowledge it can um, equals to culture what we have learned or even uh, law or the rules and regulations for a society because it's everything we have learned up to now how to treat each other for example or how to work together as a community but it's through the alchemic process that we learn it's through putting ourselves through different situations and see what works so it's like being a scientist or an alchemist and this is the beginning of the process but this is when we have come to a certain part where we start to become aware of our shadow and and we integrate more and more of it it's often also when we meet another person and they have like a totally different skill set we have said now that this person isn't so skilled uh, but they are not so skilled when it comes to your relationship it's probably other things where they are very skilled and, and you lack those skills uh, so the thing is when we meet a person we expand our awareness we become more than we were before because we're learning from the other person so if you were uh, like 100% yourself doing your thing and they are 100% them and doing their thing when you come together you expand your awareness and you become more than what you were before uh, more aware about more things it can be uh, as simple as expanding your taste in music to uh, being able to see the psychological truth uh, about uh, certain behaviors and it can be so much more than that being able to understand another person's point of view for example in a conflict or a war can be very important um, so this uh, that this person is like a big question mark to you you are like why are they acting like this it's become they come from a total different uh, like skill set they have different tools which they are working with and they uh, are not speaking directly to you because it's not your tools but uh, when you learn how this person works uh, your mm, your awareness and your wisdom will definitely expand but for right now or in this situation this person is like a puzzle to you uh, clarifying what's on your mind eight of swords we have the knight of pentacles so you feel like your loyalty and um, your personality being um, somewhat forgiving <laughs> is uh, is making you a prisoner to this situation that you can't let go that you can't move on that you are loyal to this person uh, whatever they do it's like you always forgive them uh, over time you will for you'll forgive them and it makes you feel like um, you're a fool for them or that you are unnecessarily loyal towards them uh, clarifying the eight of pentacles and we have a two of wands so it's it's a similar situation here they're working with their hands here they're working with their mind trying to figure it out what's the right thing to do where i'm supposed to go how i'm supposed to act what am i supposed to say uh, so it seems like they are working progress okay clarifying the six of swords and it's the four of wands so they're trying to live up to your expectations it's like this uh, the two adults in this picture all over again here they're trying to solve the problems between you so to live up to your expectations okay 
and clarifying your feelings in this situation. And we have the nine of wands. It was a card we saw in the beginning. Uh, the red person with the white eyes. <laughs> okay, so it's the same card here. Um, you are prepared to protect yourself and you have just had enough of this. <laughs> so you're not uh, probably not going to be as patient anymore it's changing like the past is changing because of your current feelings of uh, uh, taking charge over the situation both these people are holding the wand you're like i got the torch now i got the fire so probably you are so pissed off in this situation that you're not as lenient or forgiving as you were prior so um you feel like it could be easier for you to step away from this person now uh, as um you are not feeling as much in need of them or anger with them. Clarifying the alchemist, and it's a nine of swords. So they know this, and they're very scared of this. Nine, nine, it's connected to the hermit being alone. This person doesn't want to be alone without you. Uh, they want to have access to you, and they're trying a lot of things to, uh, to try to please you so you won't go because uh, that would be... Uh, horrible for them like the ultimate nightmare if you left clarifying the hero font we have the three of swords um so you are pretty heartbroken by this situation and you feel like this person is not acting in the way we should act like accordingly with your rule book um which can be true or false or half true but also a little bit false um, not everything you believe about the situation is true and you are not 100% right, okay? So uh, you need to question yourself also to be able to see where you are um, in need of maybe understanding the other person's point of view and realizing that it's also valid, okay? It's not in every aspect, but in some aspects. Many aspects you are right, it's like this song, make a list of what is wrong, the thing you told them all along. <laughs> so it's like that. But uh, you also need to check that list yourself. Like what is it that the other person has told you over and over that you never listened to? So clarifying the four of cups and it's the four of pentacles. Uh, so they're very willing to do the work, but it's not obvious to you uh, because they are uh, trying to kind of keep... Um, power over this situation by acting like they don't care or uh, that it's mostly you know uh, they are having a bigger issue with this than what you are having it's just them trying to keep um, control over this situation I, it's not what they feel they are very scared but the outside might show that uh, uh, kind of see if i care or um uh, they might be complaining about your behavior. Uh, so, clear. Oh, no, I took the wrong deck. Uh, clarify the justice card. And we have the Knight of Wands. I think this will change, though, this behavior. Eventually, they will realize that a lot of things you said were right, and they would want to come and persuade you uh, to give them another chance here. Uh, so yang energy um again it's what i told you in the beginning that uh, they are in this for themselves so even if they come like this uh, you might not expect um you shouldn't expect uh, a total change with this person they're just coming and um, trying to persuade you because they are hurting without you it's not because they have seen the light and finally figure out that you are right just that they're trying to pet you the right way so you will not be so upset so you will stay with them or continue being their friend or their family member or their uh, partner okay this is you being so puzzled uh, by this person you can't understand why they're acting this way it seems like a big uh, question mark to you if you love someone you give uh, your everything and you're loyal and dependable and they seem to be a little bit all over the place and you don't understand what what they're gaining from this clean it up okay um i'm feeling like this is some teenager vibe from them 
uh, that the whole um, act is some kind of uh, residue from the, when they were young. Maybe they were not able to rebel in a healthy way towards their parents that was well received so they can could become a grown-up person with a grown-up mind. Instead, they are still caught in the rebellion. The nice thing with the clean it up card is that they probably know this and they're trying to improve themselves. They might not tell you because of the four, four here, which is connected to the emperor, yang energy. Um, I got the power, okay? And so they might not tell you that this is their humble view on the situation, but uh, it's what it is, okay? Um, they know uh, your value. Uh, they know how important you are for their well-being and their happiness. So they don't want to jeopardize it, but they are doing it anyway uh, because of this little bit uh, rebellion act also some old residue, something that they haven't worked through with whom it uh, considered, okay? Instead, they are trying to work it through with you. If this isn't your grown-up son, for example, then <laughs> there's probably some um, teenager rebellion that wasn't able to become complete. So they are trying, they are fighting themselves to behave, but they constantly go back to misbehaving because the teenager inside of them hasn't got uh, uh, like all its message out or haven't been able to completely heal or do the overhaul. We are supposed to take the authority from our parents when we become an adult person uh, so we can become a grown-up person on our own, a mature, wise person. But first we need to be a teenager and say that everything that the parents have said, it's all wrong. Uh, so that we can make up our mind of our own. And then we will um, be in opposition towards a lot of things that our parents stood for. Uh, but a, lo a lot of other things we will take to heart and carry with us to our own children, which they might hate and say that, oh, I will never become like my parents. Uh, but we need to have that process so we can define who we are and where we stand in the world. And I think this person haven't had that process really. So they're still rebelling and trying to find um, out um, what they stand for. And that might make them very wobbly. Like they can have uh, this opinion in this situation, but then they have this other opinion, that opposite opinion in another situation, which makes them seem like they are all over the place. But I think sometimes they act uh, like their old um, upbringing or culture or conditioning. And sometimes they act uh, like they're rebel. But uh, I don't think they are uh, really acting as themselves uh, just yet. I think this is themselves being uh, like a little bit squeezed in this situation and uh, have... <laughs> like have the longing to not be in this uh, predicament anymore, but actually be able to become themselves fully. Uh, and it's a pretty sweet person with a lot of um, loyalty and, and devotion. Uh, but maybe you will never see that. Maybe they will only show you this yang energy and, you know, a little bit self-absorbed uh, as teenager can be. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, so I can't really advise you in this situation what to do. We can take an advice here. See, uh, regeneration. Well, they need a lot of kind of whooping, but you know, they need to be put into their place a lot. But in the same time, you also need to tell them a lot of truths. Um, like you are acting like this because um, um, you haven't rebelled towards your parents, for example. Uh, so that they can see things a little bit more quicker. The things that you see with them that's so clear to you, but they obviously don't see about themselves. Uh, maybe you should commun try to find a way to communicate uh, those truths or those uh, insights uh, to them in a way that they can, um, um, you know, welcome and digest. Not in a way that's accusive or where you are making them out to be wrong, but um, where there's um, some sort of uh, support from your end um, and understanding of their behavior, okay? But still asking more of them and saying that 
uh, I understand you, you need to work through this, but this I can't tolerate. Okay. So I would urge you to watch the love reading for August to learn more about this situation or relationship. And please share my videos to let more people know about them. Also like the video to show YouTube that you want to continue seeing readings from me in your feed. And of course subscribe and hit the notification bell to be sure that you get noticed when I'm posting a new video. Thank you in advance also for watching this far. Take really good care until next time. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.